Hi, it's Rox. Today I just wanted to do a look on camera and uh, tell you my thoughts on one of my new palettes in my collection. So the palette that I will do a look with today is the Mini Glam by Natasha Denona. I know it's not a new palette for her, but it's new in my collection. I've already done one look with this palette and I will insert some pictures uh, right now so you can see uh, what I did. In this look, I've used uh, this shade, this shade, and this shade. So today I will try to use uh, these other two shimmers uh, to have an idea of the whole uh, palette. This palette is only five colors. I thought that we would, could do uh, light swatches uh, right now. So I will start with this one. And I will swatch the three first shades. This is what the ah! <laughs> the three first shades looks like. I hope you can see well. I'm having trouble finding <laughs> the right placement. So this is the three first shade. Now we will do the last two. The last shimmer is really uh, my favorite. It's the lightest one and it feels like it has a little bit of pink in it. So. Yeah, this is what the palette looks like. Just by swatching it, I feel like it's the same texture as a, our other palette, so uh, nothing uh, alarming at this point. I will start by uh, priming my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer is the one that I always use. I really love it. So if you are looking for a nice eye primer, I will suggest this one. You can buy it at Walmart and other pharmacy. Okay, so for the next part, I zoom you in. Uh, I hope you can see well. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with this brush and I'm gonna go in the the lightest mat and I'm gonna put it in the crease so something like this I like this color is uh, darker on the eyes than in the pen but I'm okay with it. I prefer something like this because if it's very light, I don't see the point of having it in a five pan, you know? And um, it's very common for a Natasha Denona eyeshadows to be uh, darker on the eyes than the real color. And I think it's better to be darker than lighter. So next I'm gonna took um, the lightest shimmer with the fluffier brush and I'm gonna put it in the brow bone area and I'm going to blend the edges of the mat. I always do this uh, with my palettes, taking a shimmer and blending the edges. I like the finishes, but it's a personal taste, I guess. Something like this. I'm gonna repeat on the other eyes. And this is all it's looking like right now. And now I'm gonna go in the shimmers to go on the lid because I have an idea for the lower lash line. So um, I'm gonna start to with the shimmers in the middle. In the pan, it, it looks like a gray shimmer. Uh, on the swatches, it looks like more top, toppy one, toppy one. Toppy one cannot be. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it. <laughs> Sorry. 
and I'm gonna put it uh, on the uh, outer, outer part of my lid. <laughs> gonna do this way. Just like that, and I'm gonna take the other shimmer on the same brush. I just uh, swatch it in my color switch. And I'm gonna do the same thing, so I'm gonna spray it. And now I'm gonna put it in the first half of my lid. Just like that, and I'm going a little um, on top of the other shimmer, just to blend these two together. And I think I'm gonna go with my finger in the first shimmer and just intensify it just like that so now it's looking like this and i'm gonna go do the other eye and i'm gonna come back so now before doing the lower lash line i'm gonna take a little angle brush like this and i'm gonna take the darkest matte the brown and i'm gonna do like a liner on my lid so just on just above the lash line okay so just like that i feel like it's bringing out uh, more of the color in my eyes so i'm gonna do the same thing on the other one so now for the lower lash line I'm gonna start uh, with this little brush and I'm gonna take the brown and just stamp it underneath. Just like this and then I'm gonna go with the my angle brush and I'm gonna do a, a wing. I'm gonna try to do a wing. <laughs> Sometimes it's not perfect at first but I will perfection it um, not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> to keep the magic alive. <laughs> so like this. And then I'm connecting it um, to my lid like this. And I'm gonna put all the brown in it. I'm having fault, but it's my fault right now. <laughs> Not being that careful, just trying to navigate this one. So something like this, I'm gonna go um, do the other one and try to make them uh, fit. Okay, truth is, um, they're really not the same, but <laughs> I don't have the same eyes. I don't have the same brows on both sides, so I feel like it's gonna be okay i'm really tired um, of trying to perfect them it's like you know you have one of those days that it's not working it's not working so i'm gonna <laughs> work with what i have and um i'm gonna finish my look uh, i think with because i'm wearing a blue shirt i want to put the blue trip in my waterline <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take the palette again and go in the lightest shimmer uh, with the pencil brush and I'm gonna put that in my inner corners this. and a little on top here but 
mascara on and I think after that I'm gonna go in my glisten palette and take uh, the blue liner and do something fun I'm <laughs> I will try and I will put something on my lips and I will come back so I'm back uh, with the final look I will zoom you in and show you <laughs> So I did a line with the blue liner and a little triangle and yeah I really like how it looks and I pair it with um, a lipstick from NYX it's called Munchies so yeah I really like it how it turned out and now I'm gonna tell you my thoughts uh, on the palette. Well, I really love the color story. Uh, it's surprising for me because I'm really not a neutral gal. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think um, the cool tone and uh, neutrals are something uh, a little unexpected because I think a lot of people are wearing uh, warm neutrals all the time like copper uh, etc. So I think uh, it's a little less common to wear a cool tones and I feel like it suits me very well with my eyes and everything so I really like the color story. I think the two mattes are uh, the normal uh, Natasha Denona quality, uh, they're pigmented, buildable, everything, blendable, it's really great shadows. For the three shimmers, um, I will say uh, this one is the one that I like the least. I feel like it's like a satin finish. It's not as sparkly as the other two. The other two, I feel like these are the real uh, Natasha Denona quality that we all love. So yeah, I'm just a little um, disappointed with the one in the middle. So I think it's a really great palette. Um, if you want cool tone and you don't want to have a big palette, uh, choose this one. I know she have a midi size of the glam palette, but for me, five pens is, is enough. I'm not really a neutral girl, like I said. So yeah, and I feel like there's only so much look that you can do with this one and the glam palette. I feel like there's there's shades that are very repetitive, so I feel like there's so much that you can do, so you don't really need a big palette to do all the things. I feel like this five pens, it's a little of a one trick pony because yeah, I did a liner the other time. Um, I did more like a smoky eyes and you can do a halo eyes, but I feel like you're gonna end up with the uh, looks that are gonna look the same after that so yeah if you want a cool tone i will recommend this and this is it <laughs> that'll be it uh, for today's video uh, i hope you liked it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, comment down below i would like to know if you have tried natasha denona and if yes what's your favorite palette if not which one would you like to try and you can share this video if you like and please subscribe if you're not but only if you want to I will really appreciate it okay until next time uh, have a nice day and enjoy bye